Hey, Worship Leader, look what I just got in the mail. It is the brand new Jet Pedals Signature Series. Their first Signature Series, Mr. Jack's Overdrive Distortion Combo Mix Magic Pedal. This thing is amazing, and we're gonna plug it in and listen to it right now. So the Mr. Jack's pedal is Chris Rocha's signature pedal. And if you don't know him, he is an amazing guitarist. Um, he has a website here. It looks like he has a bunch of courses and yes, a bunch of stuff. He's an award-winning producer and musician. He's worked with Jackie Velasquez and Leland and a bunch of other people. He's on Instagram, YouTube, definitely check him out. So what we're gonna do today is plug it up, hear how it sounds. It has an amazing like gain staging feature and it has some other hidden features so let's plug it up and see how it sounds pairing it up today with the chalks dc7 um, i'm going to be using these uh flamma wireless guitar system i just opened it i don't know anything about it i'm going to try to do a review i'm going to use them and see if they stand up to the new xfx stuff that i've been using um yeah they have different channels built in and yeah i'm going to use those today we'll get into that in another video i'm going to be using the dual amp preset of mine that's in the expanse pack through the HX Stomp, if you want to know more about the Expanse Pack, it's an ever-growing collection of presets. You pay once, you get free updates for life, and I'm always putting new stuff in there. So go to heyworshipleader.com or click the link in the description to check it out. I'm going to be using the Reverend guitar today. We'll listen to the humbuckers and the signal coils probably. When I played through it last night, I played through the humbuckers and it sounded amazing. On connected channel A, channel A. It's just... It's so cramped in here, but for those of you who know, I am in the process, and it's coming further and further along, of building a YouTube studio in my backyard. And I'm gonna be so excited to show you guys and to finally be out there and not be cramped in this very little space. Some people don't know how small the space is. Like, it's like just this little L. Right here's my bed. I sleep right here. So I just have this little space with a million cables, and I'm ranting. Here we go. I'll be monitoring through the Sennheiser HD 600s. I love these. All right, so this is our clean tone. I love that. That's a great amp. You should go check out the Expanse Pack right now. Okay, so gain staging. This thing has four different clipping options. I, I talk about reverb so much, I wanna say algorithms, but clipping options. They have, you turn it on, and you can long press and scroll through the different colors. Um, with white being the lowest gain stage, you have a typical level volume knob here, a tone knob that I liked about right here. We'll sweep these, and then a gain knob. So let's just turn it on the lowest setting and hear how it sounds. It said that this is like 25% of the gain. So every time we go to a new clipping option, it's basically just driving up the gain. So the white LED is 25% and it's supposed to be fine-tuned to be that edge of breakup sound that could be used as an always on. Now, the blue LED, if you hold down and let go for like over a half second, uh, goes to the next, which is 50%. And this is like a second stage overdrive. It's thick, but not too thick. Sounds like this. It can be used with full cords still without getting muddy, and I, re I really like it. It's still very dynamic if you roll your volume back a little bit. Our amp. So while we're on this one, let's do the sweep of the tone knob. I really like it somewhere in here, just a little over halfway. 
All right, let's go to the next one, the purple LED. This is 75%. It's like a third stage stacked overdrive, much more compressed. It can get pretty aggressive. If you use less notes, it won't get so muddy, but here it is. So this might be good for those octave. And then let's go to the red. This is 100% full volume, um, thick, saturated, best for lead lines. Kind of too much for chords, but great for lead lines. So let's turn this down. We're on the white channel. Let's remind ourselves what our clean tone is. So I think even on the white stage, this is this is how just from, I didn't read this anywhere, but even on the white, if you max this out, it goes to the red, basically. So um, here is the white. So all the way down would be 25%. 50% would be the blue LED. 75% would be the purple. And all the way up, you can hear it, high gain. So that's how it works. It does say on the um, documents page that turn the gain knob fully counterclockwise all the way down for the gain staging to work most efficiently. Now, one more very cool feature about this, it's kind of a hidden feature, is that if you do a double tap, you get a mid boost. So no matter which um, color you're on, you always have on tap a like a lead boost, which is just awesome. So let me go to uh, my amp here and turn some reverb and delay on, cause why not? So this might be like a, a nice rhythm tone that I might just leave on all the time. that mid boost it's like it says it's like the the golden mid frequencies just to stand out in a mix and I just I love that oh so you can change um, the different channels and stay mid boosted which is pretty cool So here's the highest gain channel and then I'll add the mid boost.
the pedal is disengaged, you can actually long press and cycle through without turning the pedal on. Each long press then will go to the next uh, gain stage and then you can click it on when you're ready and it'll be ready. So that's kind of a good way to jump around as well. Now there's a way to save which gain stage is active when you start up the pedal. Right now when I start up this pedal, I think it went to the second, the 50% gain stage, the blue one, let's see. It's cycling through. And it immediately goes to the blue one, which I might would want to switch it to the white one. So let's see if we can do that together. It says it be I need to do this again. I need to take it off. When it begins to flash, hold down the bypass switch while the LED is still flashing and release when the LED is a solid color. So I'm gonna hold it. It's a solid color. A short press now will go through the desired um, gain stage. And once I have selected the correct gain stage, which is white, um, we do a long press of the bypass switch. And now it's saving it. So now I should be able to shut it off. And when I turn it back on, it should go to white. Boom, we're at white. So it's pretty easy. So what do y'all think? Let me know down in the comments below. I think it sounds amazing. Um, if you're in the market to get an overdrive that's very versatile like this. Now this is not MIDI controlled. I talk a lot about MIDI controlled overdrives that Jet Pedals has, the line of the Lamb, which are MIDI controlled. This one isn't, so I just wanted to clarify, um, but you have a lot of flexibility just with this one switch, so it's pretty amazing. I don't know when this will be on sale. I don't know if you can get it yet. I don't remember when the release date was, um, but yeah, definitely be checking uh, jetpedals.com for future updates. Get on their mailing list. Definitely check it out. Now, I will most likely be giving this away to a lucky winner in the very near future, so make sure you subscribe. You don't miss out on that. Follow me on Instagram because I'll probably be posting stuff over there as well. And hey, if you're not subscribed to the channel, like I just asked you to, go ahead and subscribe. We're very close to 10,000 subscribers, so I'm very excited about that. So anyways, see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.